seeking advice from a close friend is going to be very good for you. For those of you who have kind of um, hit, you know, the, the end of the road, if you're like going through a crisis or if you're going through a situation at work where you feel like, you know, what exactly do I want to do next? Like, is this the right career path for me? Seeking advice from a friend that you trust. I feel that a lot of you, I, I feel like you know what... Well, people generally, we all know what we need to do. Sometimes we just need a sounding board. So having a conversation with a, a close friend would be very beneficial for you in order to get you to um, arrive at the right decision, okay? Sometimes we know what we need to do. We just need to talk it out. We just need somebody to like bounce ideas off of. In the process of being able to verbalize what it is that we're feeling, then we can make... Um, then we can get the validation to make the right decision, okay? Because I feel like deep down, we all always know what's the best decision for us at any given point in time. So let's talk about this situation here. First of all, like I mentioned, there has been something that you ended very, very recently. And I do feel that it is an ongoing battle, an ongoing dispute, or it was an ongoing issue that where two people were basically not seeing eye to eye and there was a major major impasse okay like a major stalemate and it wasn't going anywhere so a lot of you have implemented some endings and i feel like it could have been within the past two months because i'm getting the five of swords which is more about um f for some reason i'm getting like in the time of um aquarius because of the sword energy so in the time of aquarius like in uh, january 21st february 21st around that time frame something might have happened some some doors were closed or at least you know old ways of doing old ways of communicating with other people and especially old problems that you just don't have a solution for you don't really want to engage in the conflict it is being put to rest okay this is a very very beautiful energy now we are going through the brunt of mercury in retrograde um, starting in may it started on april 28th i believe in north america um, we're dealing with the rest of that energy during the may the month of May. So when the death card happens, I feel that because it came out first, this was something that was implemented recently. And a lot of you are wondering whether or not the decision was right. Okay. So if you have ended some type of a relationship, you're kind of wondering what you should do and whether or not you did the right thing. Um, for others of you, I do feel that you're afraid this situation is coming back in and you're afraid that the conflict is not over, that the other person that you were involved in that conflict with has the potential to come back, okay? Um, so you're kind of gearing for battle and you're getting ready for some type of entanglement, like some type of a um, round two. But I don't feel the other person is going to be coming in, so I don't feel that you need to worry about this, okay? Okay. You close the doors on that and it's good and it's a great thing to do. So don't, um, don't like think about them. Don't try to, you know, don't second guess yourself. Whatever that has ended, you were definitely doing the right thing and you're on the right track. So don't second guess this decision that you made. Okay. What I feel as well is, um, there might've been some interference coming in for, for a lot of you regarding a love relationship. Um, type of situation. If there has been other people interfering with your relationship, I feel that they might show themselves this month and there might have been just a lot of confusion regarding the third party. I don't feel like people were stepping out of the relationship, but I definitely see some interference possibly coming in from family members, from like friends and, you know, friends from your side, friends from their side. I feel that it might be friends from their side, but I feel that for a lot of you, you or your partner sees the value in the relationship that you have together. So you're not going to let outsiders interfere in this union and you're willing to fight for the relationship. You're willing to give it your all and you're willing to cut down whoever is trying to get between you and them or them and you. So you are doing this, they're also trying to do this. And I do feel that as a result of it, you have a very, very strong, stable, grounded relationship. And you have a very strong, like, um, you have somebody that is willing to fight for you. You likewise are willing to fight for the longevity and for the sustainability of this relationship, which is a really beautiful energy. 
In terms of your emotional state, we do have the Queen of Cups as well as the Wheel of uh, Fortune. And both of these cards are entirely very, very positive. Um, one thing I want to emphasize is that, you know, like um, you're the first sign of the Zodiac. Also being a fire sign, you might have a reputation for rushing into things or doing things on impulse. But I know that uh, with Aries, you have a very strong sense of loyalty. And when somebody hurts you with all fire signs, well, with everybody, but I do feel specifically with Aries, if somebody hurts you and they're a friend, it's um it's a really, really deep wound. Okay. Somebody if somebody you trust um turns out to be, you know, ends up falling off their pedestal, it's a very, very hurtful situation. And um you do close doors in that in those situations. So I just want you to know that whatever has ended, I feel that you did the right thing. So don't re engage in it and don't manifest it to come back to you. And sometimes uh, when we think about, you know, oh, I hope that situation doesn't come back around. I do sense that um, by thinking on it too much, by dwelling on it, by, by like um, fearing it, it has the potential to manifest and re-enter your life. So just be very careful about the intentions that you set out there, okay? Overall, I do feel with your emotional state, you are very, very um, grounded and solid this month. You're in a position where you can be of great assistance to other people, like the shoulder for them to cry on, a, a good system of like emotional support. You're in a very, very good position to offer them advice from the heart. I'm going to wait for that siren to pass. And I do sense that this is the energy that you exude. This is the, the persona that you give off where people that have you know that need guidance and things like that are are coming into your life as well because they need you to give them you know some type of support some type of guidance okay what i'm also feeling is um for those of you who are dealing with a water sign water signs are um Pis pisces cancer scorpio i do feel that this water sign is going to be very instrumental um, in offering advice, but also in providing some type of a, um, some type, some type of a groundwork, some type of a grounding energy in order for you to move forward with your plan. So this person is very instrumental in your life. They are crossing your path for a reason. I do feel that, you know, it can be a male or female, but either way, they have a very, um, like deep wealth of knowledge about human nature they are crossing your paths in what seems to me to be a very serendipitous way. For women especially, I feel that it might be a friend. For men, it might be somebody who is very just emotionally nurturing and mature. And they can be, um, as a romantic partner, this is somebody who doesn't really, they don't entertain mind games. They don't like, you know, the chase and, and things like that. They are looking for something a little bit more solid, okay? You likewise are in a position where your maternal, you know, maternal instincts are kicking in and you feel like, I want more of a solid, stable, committed relationship. I want somebody that will be there for me, you know, like in my old age. So you're thinking long-term and in terms of all of your interpersonal relationships as well, you want something that will sustain or um, that will last the test of time. So you, you don't want superficial friendships, acquaintances, relationships, um, dating. You, you don't want any of that. You want something with a lot of emotional depth. Okay. So for some reason, I feel like it's more of a maturation process because you're going through this and you, you feel like it's a moment of emotional maturity where you know what you want and what you want happens to be things that are stable that can that can grow with you into your old age, okay? So even for those of you who are younger as you're watching this, like if you're even, you know, like in your late teens or even in your 20s, you're no longer satisfied and emotionally fulfilled by superficial relationships, friendships, people, family members. You're no longer putting up with it. You're, you're looking for more emotional depth, okay? Which is a great thing to do. And usually when we want people who are like-minded, especially in friendships or in mentorships um, capacity, the universe usually delivers them pretty quickly. So 
there are some conflicts that are um, creating um, some type of an emotional instability within you. So the Nine of Swords and the Five of Wands both indicate to me this is a conflict card. This is like competition and conflict as well as the Nine of Swords, which is basically um, sleepless nights, like mental energy, thoughts, communication that might not have been um, there. Communication that might have been hurtful. And you're playing it over and over and over again in your head. And as a result of it, it's um, it's creating like um, a difficult energy for you to cope with. So what I'm feeling with both of these cards is don't internalize other people's conflicts, okay? So what I mean is, for example, if two of your closest friends are having problems with each other, uh, don't play mediator. That's between them, all right? Two people that have problems with each other, they need to resolve it on their own. That's what we do as adults. We shouldn't need mediation. We shouldn't need that. We shouldn't need a third party. And also because you're emotionally invested in both of them, it's not in your best interest to play mediator because it's just a conflict of interest. So you want to remove yourself from sources of conflict, especially other people's conflict as much as possible, because I feel like it's emotionally destabilizing for you. Additionally, what I'm sensing is um, whoever it, it was that you closed the door on, if they're bringing conflict with them and, and things like that, just don't, um, don't engage in it, okay? What I'm also sensing is, you know, the five of wands usually does indicate like a competition as well. So a lot of the times um, you, you want to be careful about the things that you say because you're the fire energy and the wands represent fire. You could potentially be dealing with like another air sign, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And um, you, you might be dealing with a water sign as well. And the things that you say you feel like, oh, it's playful, it's just, you know, harmless. But I do feel that the other person might be a little bit more analytical or a little bit more sensitive, like this water sign here. So the words can cut. So you want to be careful about communication, about not um, um, saying things, but but like explaining them in a way that the, the people who are a little bit more sensitive might understand that you were joking, okay? So competition and also words that might be randomly thrown about, be careful about that. In terms of your advice here, we have the Three of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Strength card. So family and friendships are going to be pretty much the foundation for you for this month. They are going to provide you with support, emotional support, financial support, if you are strapped for finances and money and things like that, um, come to your friends and your family for help, okay? Additionally, I do feel there might be family members coming to you for help as well as friends coming to you for help. I feel though, Aries, you are in a position of financial abundance and as a result of it, other people will come to you, family members and friends. And I do sense that, you know, you're more than willing to help them. What I do feel as well is for those of you who are in like a solid, committed, you know, relationship where you've been together for quite some time or you are married with each other, there might be like gossip. There might be um, situations that are happening outside of the relationship, just like, um, um, people interfering in your family unit, in your relationships overall. I don't feel that this is going to drive you or your romantic partner apart, but I want you to identify the elements and I want you to like not let this energy affect you, okay? If there is interference from other people outside of your relationship, just know that whatever doesn't tear you apart will bring you closer together, will strengthen the relationship. So these um, I feel like this month is a very trying time for those of you in solid relationships. I also feel we have the strength card. This is a card about not jumping to conclusion. This is a card about basically um, getting answers, like prying answers from the lion's mouth. So it, it deals with a little bit of an un uncomfortable energy. If you are dealing with somebody who's very evasive, ask direct questions. And I know this is something that you have no trouble doing. If they're not giving you clear, straightforward answers, 
you have to ask yourself why that is, okay? Maybe that's the answer that you need to take into account. Maybe that that's all you need to know because I feel that if someone is not giving you direct answers, it means they're hiding the truth and they might be trying to um, covertly hide the truth and you know lie by omission so this is something for you to you know keep in the back of your mind like why is it that when you ask somebody for you know specific when you ask very direct questions they can't give you direct answers so keep that in mind okay I do feel that you might be dealing with a water sign so um, Pisces Scorpio cancers and because you're a fire element, I do sense that um, communication is already going to be difficult. But I want you to understand that if you're looking for direct answers and they can't give that to you and they can't even give you a time frame where they can come back and give you an answer, that's probably not the right person to be in your life, okay? So keep that in check, all right? The financial situation looks to me to be very, very stable. Um, for a lot of you, if you have closed some doors on some family members, I do sense that there might be celebrations and things like that coming in for this month. Uh, hold your tongue. Be careful about, you know, engaging in unnecessary conflict. I do feel somebody is like coming through. Okay, so if you've had like an ongoing quarrelsome, troublesome relationship with somebody, I feel somebody is like coming through back in. And trying to offer you like a peace offer, but it's, it's not going to last. It's a very like tentative peace treaty. And then they re will revert back to their old self and then they will try to re-engage you in conflict. And I feel like the person that you're dealing with, whoever it is, if this sounds familiar, whoever it is that you're dealing with, um, they're just very insecure. And as a result of it, don't waste your energy. Just don't engage in it. Don't waste your energy. And I know you're very forgiving, but I feel that the universe is, um, is, is forcing you to move on. It's forcing you to move from this, see it for what it is, and just know that, you know, they, they're not bad people. I just feel that they're very insecure. They want to, they, they're like addicted to drama. So, you know, keep that in check as well. And once again, the energy can flow both ways. So, you know, try to calm it or nip it in the bud when it starts surfacing for you or through other people. So then don't waste your time uh, with unnecessary conflict with people who have like, um, who are addicted to drama this month. Okay. Let's see what's in store for you both from, um, for you for love. And this is May, 2016. Let's see what's in store for Aries for love. Okay, so we are dealing with an air, uh, a water sign here, excuse me. All right, so let's look at this for um, singles first. The first card out of the deck here is the Queen of Wands. So I feel like for a lot of you, you might be newly single. Uh, the Queen of Wands is usually like a very motherly, very, well, it's a fire sign, but um, so this is your energy. What I'm feeling is this is somebody who's very, very motherly, though. And in this deck, I'm getting this is somebody that might have potentially, you know, you, you might have a child, um, you might have children, you might want a family, you might want to establish like a, a little, you know, like a family unit, like a tribe. So I do feel this is a very, very maternal figure and she's fiercely protective of her family members as well as her, um, her, her unit, like her, her offsprings, okay? Um, for those of you who are newly single, I do feel that you, you bring with you a more combative air when it comes to dating. You don't really tolerate BS and, you know, game playing from your romantic partner and from the people that you're dating. You want directness, frankness, honesty, and um, 
you want people who are a little bit more like assertive. Okay. Um, in your dating environment, you might be dealing with a water sign and water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, this can be male or female. And I do feel that there is a sense of like, um, they might be younger biologically, or they're just a little bit immature. When it comes to this person, I do feel that they're kind of playing the field. And I also feel as if they're not very sincere. They're just flirtatious. They're, they're prone to flirtation and they might make promises and fail to deliver. So don't put all your eggs in one basket. If you're dealing, if this sounds familiar to you, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Okay. Because there will be other people coming into the picture for you. All right. I feel like this is a person that wants to get your attention, but I, I don't feel that you're tolerating it and you're not in a, or you are in a position where you have other offers coming through for you. So wait out for the better offer. I do sense as well. Uh, we do have a card here, the seven of pentacles that is basically near this card and it is the energy are supposed to like run together. This is somebody that might brag about how much money they have. They might, you know, try to compensate by telling you, Oh, I, um, I'm working, you know, in the finance industry. This is how much money I make annually. And they're doing that mainly to show you that they're trustworthy, that they're dependable, that they have a lot to offer. But the thing is, emotionally, they seem to me to be very stunted or they, they just seem like emotionally unreliable. And I feel that you're aware of this as well. So despite all the talk, despite all the rhetoric about, you know, how mature I am, I feel like they're comp like overcompensating for other aspects in their life that they might be missing. Okay. Um, for a lot of you, I do feel that if you're single, you're a little bit skeptical when it comes to love and romance and things like that. Okay. If you are newly single and you have gotten out of a serious relationship very recently, like even as early as, uh, as late as January or like as early as March, I do feel you're coming through a situation where you might be financially, a little bit um, depleted, like your finances or your assets have been cut in half, or you're in a position where you might have been dealing with, you know, just the, the end of a breakup. It's always hard, but I do feel there is a sense of self-esteem, like low self-esteem, not feeling comfortable in our own skin and um, not settling for less. So what I'm, I'm feeling is that you are, a lot of you are looking for somebody who's very financially uh, stable and there's definitely nothing wrong with that. Okay. But I do feel that you want to be careful about placing too much emphasis on money, going after people who are like, um, who are married to their work. You're not going to get the emotional fulfillment that you're hoping for from them. So if you're looking for somebody specifically, that is, you know, a workaholic that has a lot of financial resources and you know who's just like um, financially abundant who will pamper you and all of those things you're not going to be emotionally fulfilled you're not going to be emotionally fulfilled so aim for the right people aim for emotional depth and emotional availability in the people that you're dating okay if you can be clear about what it is that you want. So this is to me, once again, strategy, clarity, mental clarity. This is about manifesting. And this is about like victory through a lot of struggle. And what it's coupled with here as well is the um, wheel of fortune, which is basically if you can be very clear about the people that you want to date, that you want in your life, the universe will start to deliver for you. So just keep that in mind. I do feel for a lot of you, you're in a position right now where you are very hard at work. You're very um, ambitious when it comes to manifesting, you know, your, your work situation, your finances, as well as your career. You might not have time so much to start dating, but I would urge you to try to do that or at least, you know, give it some time. If you feel like you are completely healed from previous past relationships, try to start dating because I do sense like it's slow progress, but it's really still good for you to get yourself out there. Okay. For those of you who are in relationships, like solid relationships, marriage situation, I feel that you're going to have to compromise this month. 
what I'm getting is, you know, in the traditional deck, whenever the um, Queen of Wands comes up, it is somebody who is um, very gentle looking. In this deck, it seems like she's always ready to fight, okay? It, it seems like she's not very um, secure and happy. She has her guard up and she's like almost ready to fight. If this is the energy that you're bringing onto the, the table in your relationship where you're confrontational, I do feel that your your partner feels as if they have to prove themselves over and over and over again. I feel almost like for those of you in stable relationship where there might have been like some third party interfering in your relationship, you're kind of hurt and um, you might have a quarrel with your partner and it's dragging on into the month of May. If that is the case, take a step back and, you know, try to put yourself in their shoes and see where they're coming from. I do feel that if you're arguing over, you know, not spending enough time together or where have they been the past three nights, for example, I feel that they might just be hard at work. They might just be working. And as a result of it, they might not have the time or they might not have, you know, checked in with you. Um, don't let unnecessary suspicion or doubts and things like that creep into the relationship. If you're looking for explanation in a stable relationship, confront the other person or at least, you know, just um, sometimes we have it in our head that, you know, certain things happen, even though whoever it is that tells us otherwise, we still have our doubts. Okay, so you have to also understand where exactly is the doubt coming from? Is it coming from your sense of not being able to trust other people? Or is it because you doubt your partner? So for example, if you've gone through, you know, if you dated like three, four people in the past, and the trust issues were never there. And then all of a sudden with this partner, things are tugging at you and you're just like, where is all these um, insecurities and trust issues? Where are they coming from? It might be time to talk to your partner. I do feel like somebody is trying to like declare their love and then the other person is just very, very skeptical. Okay. And it goes both ways. So I do feel that if you're newly dating, especially, and there might've been some there might have been some deception, some lies and, and things like that that were caught in the past. It's probably best for you to move away from it or at least, you know, just to arrive at some truths. But I do feel here that it's really affecting your ability to trust and to um, move on with the relationship. So the trust issues are definitely there and that's something you want to remedy. You want to get to the root of so that you can both progress and move forward, okay? Um I do feel as well, if you're dealing with a water sign, just be a little bit careful because it is a very young, flirtatious energy. 